Hello and welcome to Leadership Wednesday. Today I want to speak about something which is very much important for any leader. Did you recognize that a lot of people trying to belittle you, to look down on you, because they are intimidated by you? That happens in a specific situation when people trying to attack your strengths. If you are helpful and trying to find a solution for something and getting involved with the situation and the people connected to it, then it can happen that someone attacks you from behind or from the side. A team member, someone who is superior to you, or even a customer or someone else connected to you, another stakeholder in the process. And if you are not totally aware of that, it comes out of the blue and that means that you are probably getting intimidated what the other person intends to. And most of the time the problem is not with you, it's with the other person. So if you are in a situation which is very challenging and which is very important to you, be aware that not everyone is good to you and not everyone is looking for your success. What can you do to become more self-confident? What I do is that I have a list where I write down projects, achievements, um, orders I get, situations I solved, projects I was able to acquire. And out of that I'm framing a positive mindset that I go regularly through this list and see what I have achieved, of course with the help of other people in the past, and that will give me great confidence that I can do it also in the future. Don't allow other people to determine your value. Be aware what you can do. Secondly, it's also very helpful to ask other people for their advice. What do you see me good at? What do you think are my strengths? And I recommend that you do this with people who are close to you, but not too close. It's not a good idea to starting with the family because sometimes they even have motives which are not aligned with your next goal. So try to find someone, maybe a business partner or someone in the company who you can trust or a close friend, ask for their opinion. It's also very helpful to go through a list similar to mine and find out what I've done in the past good and successful and repeat this for the future. And then look specifically for projects, that's number three, where you can excel. Projects which are aligned with your strengths and gifts and your abilities. And then you can form more positive habits and more positive success stories. So be very careful in business and in life about people who are trying to build it you. It's most of the time not your fault, but they are intimidated by you and your success. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next week. Thank you.